Victor are here with a new painting tutorial and this time as was chosen by the uh, bots in Facebook and the bots I have in in YouTube it was decided to go for the max the more voted uh, decision on the studio update was uh, the Pox Walker so I'm going to paint this Pox Walker uh, and we will start uh, I will go for a greenish skin going with a purplish and different color for all these type of appendixes that he has. So I will start with Kubiek Kaki. We are going to create a base of this color. Okay, and we will go over all the skin and then later on we are going to do uh, a, like a white blending to do the, the purplish part. So I will apply this on all the skin. Okay, uh, Kubiek Kaki and I will be back once this is done. Once we have applied the base color, then we're going to use uh, Bookman's glue. Okay, and we are going to do all these type of tentacles, appendixes he has. Okay, so we are going to put uh, this one, for example, let's do this one here. We put the Bookman's glue. Okay, we go white, thin. What we are going to do now is we are going to mix a little bit. Okay, with the green. Try to make this transition softer. Okay, something like that. And we do this for all the different we we'll do this for all the different technicals, including them with the hand. So for the hand I go first to the this type of the form fingers. Okay, and now I'm going to use Kaki wing again to smoothen to make the transition less so to, to smooth the transition. Okay. We're going to make this something like that. This is where the wet blending is working well. we get doing so let's do for example the big one okay again we apply book my slow yeah they have uh, here so I'm going to point all the different tentacles because yeah, there is too many together so I want to know exactly and this thing doesn't look to be a tentacle it's more like a I don't know what is that they, these guys have a lot of crap on the, his back and they skin they have quite a bad shape skin Okay, you see, I'm going to do the same here. Now we add a little bit of Bookman Glow on the tip. Okay, 
on top, there are worms everywhere here. Don't worry if you go a little bit, there are so many push tools on all these guys that, yeah, it will make sense that they have. But here really the, the point is to add this pink to give a nice color or this skin color to contrast with the rest with the green of the skin and to have a nice variation okay get more of this we can put even this next to the arm to the end of the arm here okay there are push tools that all type of skin problems these guys let's be sure that the tips are clearly done we're going to a little bit more of okay here there is another one I, I almost missed this one We can do, yeah, before doing the, I'm going to apply the same Bookman's Glow on all the intestines and the guts we have here, okay? This will make a good base for what I want to do. Worship puts a lot of the other one in the most so what I'm going to do here instead of using the same book my slow okay this so wondering what is this thing that have here next to this type of Here I forgot to the front part. Okay. So what I was going to do here is I will instead of I will use more a partridge color and I will do I take um genestil purple and I will go next to the open gut mm, or open belly and I put purple and now with green I do it like that Okay, let's do the feet, or the foot in the case is just one foot, 
The other one is quite normal. Well, this one have a very weird toe. Again, we mix, remove the green, okay, a little more green. And now I will wait this device before doing the next step. So here we have how it looks like now, and I will wait now that this device before doing the next step. So once the base colors uh, are dry, now I'm going to do first a wash with a regular flesh sheet all over the, the yeah, on all, on all the parts, right? All over the miniature. So we are going to. That I will include as well the, the tentacles in this first wash and all the green skin. Okay, so we do this all the parts, and this will also help to us to make the transition smoother and will create some shading when it's where it's needed. Okay, you can see that, and then I re just realized I forgot this tentacle on the head. see that now and you will see that how many pustules uh, are popping up how many yeah, things are popping up when you do that I prefer the green dodge on the skin over the greenish. The main reason is I like the green, uh, this green stuff too, and because I think it's matching more with the Nurgle, with the Nargal look. Okay, you can also do um, a zombie skin or that skin using greys, but in that case I prefer to use the greens. I think the greens are more in in align with the Fox Walkers. That are more uh, guys that have been contaminated by Nargon. They are even mutated by Nargon. Okay, so now we are going to wait at this device. As you can see, I apply it everywhere, even inside of the gods. Okay, we wait at this device and I come back when this has dry. This is how it looks like after the wash, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, an iron breaker and then we are going to paint the, the metallic parts, okay? So I'm taking iron breaker, I want to go the arm, and mine is going to be the arm. We have here like a tube, I will do it as well in metallic. So and we are going to apply this on all the metallic parts. Okay, and um, yeah, so I do that and I will be back once this is done. Next, I'm going to use a stone vermin fur for the tabard. Okay, so we are just right here. I will go for the clothes of this uh, type of, uh, of these box workers. I will 
not always use the same colors, but I will go for quite um, the saturated color, grays, browns, saturated browns, um, dirty whites in a way. So all these type of colors that will look, yeah, will give the the denotation of the of the, of the sensation of dirtiness and uh, damage clothes okay so you can see we apply this here and then yeah. doing now as you can see all the base colors okay we are going to go Okay. Now I'm going to take dark brown, can be a rhinos hide, can be the violet bark. We take the rhinos hide because it's the first I found. I mean I, I like to I will not paint all them with the same brown. This is why yeah, I though I don't do much painting. This is one of the reasons sometimes I don't want to do batch painting because in that way I can paint in different uh, different tones, different skins. I can do. The risk is the coherency, but when you are painting uh, zombies or box workers, yeah, the coherency makes mm, is not needed, right? So the coherency is that they are all. In my shape. So I will do the belt and the other um, bags um, with this brown and I come back. Okay, next I'm going to apply Uzbati bone on the horn and this one half part of the brain that is visible. So we are going to apply this uh, here on the on this part. Okay, part of the brain, I mean part of the school I was meaning. Okay, so since that the skin have been ripped off here, we're going to apply this. And we are going to apply this on the horn. Okay. Um, next step, I'm going to play a little bit of gold on these uh, things here. I'm going to use Retributor Armor. We are going to apply this on this type of ornament that he has here. It's very strange what... I don't know exactly what he has in this parts here. It looks like he has some ornaments that are difficult to identify. Looks like maybe it's a Norgal type of symbol, very yeah, it's like three circles but one half like a gem on it. Very weird that a zombie will have these type of things. Okay, let's let's start with more washes, and now I'm going to uh, use um, a, purple, a purple wash. Okay, I'm going to use. Okay, next step I'm going to use, as I was saying, um, the video just uh, cut uh, in the middle of my talking, so I'm going to use Dvachi violet, and we are going to apply this. Uh, on the purplish part that we want. The case in the miniature is going to be this tentacle here. It's going to be all the tentacles or all these type of appendixes that he, this creature has. Okay. 
we can apply this as well where we have the push tools and the blisters and all this type of skin infection or skin we have also some wounds we'll apply we can go over all this part okay I will apply it as well around the open belly this post was here to place it this place you can even apply it here where the the skin has been ripped off don't worry it's applying a little bit on the bone I'm going to wash it later on uh, when you uh, another one, I think one one thing that works very well is the washes because they they help to give this type of uh, yeah, dirty, sick look. Okay, but you can uh, you have to do it in a controlled way as well. Okay, here we are going to apply this on this type of completely deformed hand. There are some small blisters here. Of course, I'm going to put it on the on this the form fit. Will not go too much here inside, just a little bit. Okay, this one. But the important thing is to do all this type of appendixes that this thing have this type of with tentacles and now we wait until this dries and I'm going to wait at this device before doing any further step so I wait at this device and I come back okay next step I'm going to use um, Seraphine Sepia and I put this on the horn. Okay, we put this here. Like that, and we are going to use then Agvax Air Shade to do other shadings, especially on the metallic part and on the tabard. Okay, so I'm going to apply this on the metal on the metal part. Instead of using um, nude oil, I think in that case it's better to use. I got air shade because it will give more a uh, uh, sensation of dirtiness. This is what we are looking here. If this is too much, we remove it if we put too much. Better always as well on, on even on the washes to do two layers if you want to go darker than just one layer, one thick layer. Okay, because you also can go can make a stain type of effects and so on. We're going to put this here as well at the back this part and as well on this type of thing here okay and now we will need to wait that this device before doing the next step, so I'm just going to ensure that I have a good distribution here. Okay, now I wait at this device and I will come back. This is how it's looking like now, okay, with the last wash. Now we are going to start doing some highlights, so I will start applying Kriek uh, Khaki and we are going to highlight a little bit the skin. 
and to put some yeah we are going to do some highlights okay so we are going to yeah we'll say follow the musculature but here is more tricky because we have a lot of pustules and other type of things popping up but you want to hit the most exposed parts of the skin and this will give this pale sick look to this guy I will not go to the belly or to this part here. We'll leave it as it is. What I will do is I will add some accents here. Just very little. Got the elbow. Then I will use Uzbati bone. I want to highlight the face. So for the eye, I will do a touch of Uzbati bone in the middle. I will keep the eyes white. You can go red if you want. I'm going to go to the teeth and for the teeth I will go very soft with the side of the brush like that all these guys are smelling smiling sorry oh, smelling and smiling I guess See that the skin is partially ripped off. It's missing one eye. So we are going to leave the socket of the eye completely dark. And do it a little bit more here. And again, in this one, I want to go for a pale skin so you can also. Do zombies with a, a different color scheme. This is the one that I'm using. I will do most of them on this type of color, very pale, uh, with this green tint mixed with purple tint. This is why I'm using. You can use Kriech Khaki, or you can use some of the new Edenet colors like the I uh, Iron rack skin or the deep kin flesh. I'm making combinations of the different these pale greens and some greys. Some cases. And then I do some darker. More on the purplish color. This people is contaminated by an organ 
type of disease so it's not really a zombie although the flesh has been rotted by Nargo ok let's leave it here and now we are going to highlight a little bit the tentacles so to highlight the tentacles I prefer to use this time uh, Bookman Glow again I can go very light and quite thin you try to glaze more than really cover the color so here you want to go a, a little bit thin to cover the to leave the purple look okay and I do the same for the other side very nice contrast against the green that we did before okay so I will do the rest of the tentacles and here this one, what I want to do is just to add a little bit on top, like that. Then here you want to add. Yeah, we want this. This thing is swelling. Okay. So I do the rest of the tentacles, and I'm back. So this is how it's looking like now. Okay. Now I'm going to highlight a little bit the brown and I'm going to use more from brown and we are going to apply a little bit of edge highlight just to pop up a little bit the, the leather the bell, there is not too much brown on this guy I don't think he will use this anymore, but okay, on the bell I try to go to the top part of the bell and this mainly to break a little bit the color uniformity and pop up a little bit the the brown. type of box okay I'm going to highlight the grey to do that, I will use a uh, first downstone. Okay, and I put this Front. 
perfect. I don't want to highlight it more, I wanted to keep it dark. I will take um, the messy desert to do the to make some poos in some of the blisters there at the back. Next, I'm going to apply another wash on the metallics. I was looking too much. We'll use no seraphine sepia, this will increase the sensation of oxidation or rusting because it's more a lighter color. So we are going to apply this on the metal. Okay, we'll increase the look of rust metal to yeah, metal just in good shape remember even if it's if it even nurgle can corrupt any type of material or so even if it's a metal that cannot be rusted a nurgle can rust it with the special powers of the warp then these guys have some little worms around the body, so I suggest them to, to I suggest to touch them with a light color. I prefer to do Uzbati bone. Okay, let me show you. He has one worm here at the back. Okay, you see there. Okay, and there is another worm here. These are everywhere on the miniatures of, of Nargel no? these type of little worms or larvas. Okay, here you have. And now we are going to apply very diluted blood for the blood god uh, in the guts. Okay, so. And we will need to wait at this line. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking I'm first testing that is the uh, water and adding this like that. Okay. Something like that. If you want, you can also add it there on the brain, but I think I will, I will leave it here. Now I wait that this dries before doing any further step. So if it's too much, for example here, I remove a little bit the excess. Leave it like that. I wait that this dries and I come back. So once the blood has dried, I'm going to apply a western green on the small gem that he has here okay, something like that, it's more than a... no, no need to paint gem effects, I think it's not worth it on these guys okay, so you have... and now I'm going to use uh, the technical paint for rust Riza rust is called So I prefer normally instead of doing dry brushing, I prefer to thin the paint, okay, and apply it 
quite thin in strategic points. Okay, so I want to give more rust. So this is now combined with the what we have done with the uh, of uh, seraphine sepia. I think we'll add some so we add it here on the tube. Okay, not too much. We want to give just a little bit of the. the end, something like that. I'm, I'm also curious to understand why this guy has a bionic arm. Um, next, I will use Gloss Agrax Earth Shade. So this is the gloss one, the glossy one. And I will just add some of this as well around. I will let it drop, drop, drop a little bit to the bottom. Just to add a little bit of brown to this blood. These blood have to look more uh, like if it's uh, corrupted, right? And I think here I will conclude this tutorial. So this is a way to do uh, one of the box walkers, okay? And I think I will do another one what do it maybe later on to show so this is the other one I have not done tutorial on this one but you can see that you just the same miniature you can play a lot with the colors and give a very different look so I maybe I will do another tutorial just focusing on how to do maybe a weekly painting how to do this uh, dark skin just for your reference here you have some other ones that they have different color schemes so this is half very similar to the one we just did okay so but I'm also working on a different one now that have this type of color skin as well so uh, you can see you can play a lot with the color skins but in that case I wanted to show you the pale greenish skin okay so I'm thinking to do another one to show you the darker one uh, and please leave in the comments below if you're interested in a different color scheme for the pot workers and this is the one for this tutorial okay so i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial i hope you have liked it and yeah and that's all for now as usual thanks a lot for watching and see you again later bye